What's happening, people? Welcome back to the Brothers Geek Out podcast. We're back with another episode for you guys. Give you some updates on some news, on some stuff that we watch, give you our reviews on a few movies that we watch, and also talk a bit about some real world issues. As usual, guys, check the description. If you want to skip straight to the Geek Out talk, you have the opportunity to go to the description and skip straight to the Geek Out talk. You know, I think to hear about what's going on in our lives or what's our thoughts on real world issues and stuff. So you have the option. Also, the timestamps there, you can check, you know, go to any part of the show. You can go to retro <laughs> movies, you can go to the news. Mm. Um, so yeah, guys, keep that in mind. Timestamps always there, you have the flexibility. Um, but as you can see, we are side by side. It's not holograms, Tommy. No, 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 no. Home, <laughs> home. I arrived yesterday, just chilling with the family. It's Eid tomorrow, Eid Mubarak. Eid Mubarak, yeah. Actually, that's the wrong thing. I don't know. I did this X. <laughs> <laughs> we died. That's what I mean. We tired the news. Like, stop it. <laughs> I do shit. I'm not, I love what I do that for. Right. Well, last time, so random. I was in traffic or something. Some guy didn't let me pass, and I was like, "Brother, <laughs> like this is haram, man. I'm not playing to this dude, man." But obviously, I didn't. That wasn't. We actually had. Some... I'm kind of communicating, saying, "Please let me go," but that obviously means yeah. some kind of prayer yeah. to him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It comes off wrong. Uh, there was a, a guy who came out of the roundabout yesterday as we were going home yesterday night. A guy, and it was with his friend. <clears throat> You know, rude boys, okay. and uh, they blurted, bro. Like literally, the way they came out, mm. they could have hit us. Okay, that's we're finished. Yeah. Oh man. Uh, and I'm trying to not get agitated and get angry anymore. I think mm. that's that's the one thing about being on road and in the UK as well. It's rubbish, uh, and I just left it. But he wanted to start some beef because I warned him. So I was like, oh, man, it's danger, man. Yeah, okay. Uh, and then he, like, slowed, like, he, we came up to two lanes roundabout, then he slowed down. And then he, he him and his boy was looking at me, like, angry. You know, the, the screw face, like, mm-hmm. wah, wah. Mm-hmm. And I, 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 I just smiled at them. Yeah. Yeah, I gave, I gave him the joker smile. <laughs> no. A proper grin. Yeah. yeah. And then they slowed down completely. Mm. It's... Sometimes, oh man, it's, it's tough. I was talking to Ash about this yesterday. It's not easy. Not easy. It's not easy to to you know you know not say anything or not, not like when someone does something coming up on the road. It's so hard to let that go. But yeah, if you could smile and whatnot, smile. in Dubai I struggle so much, but I try. I like I sometimes I recite while I'm driving, bro. You have to you just have because to. the first word that comes out of my mouth. Is, yeah, 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 yeah. So if I'm like if I recite. Hopefully that word don't come out of my mouth because you don't want to recite and then say that stupid word. Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. But boy, it's not easy. I get it, man. I get it, man. But yeah. Anyway, Eid Mubarak, man. Eid Mubarak, guys. Eid Mubarak, guys. Without no hand gestures. Hope yeah. you guys are good. Uh, yeah, G-Man's here. So we're going to have a month of like live episodes. He's going to go to a couple of screenings. He's going to watch a couple of films. <laughs> my guy. <laughs> I'm not going to... I'm not going to... Uh, Bad mouth or anything, but my guy is trying to set me up to go on some basic thing. No, no, I'm not setting you up. I'm saying now we have got the opportunity. Lucky enough, there is uh, I can't remember who it was, but we're starting to get online screeners now. Okay, okay, okay. So you're doing the online screeners. I'm right. saying it now, bro. This is the confirmation now. But after that bad name review, I was cracking up, and I know you guys know. I know you guys know. <laughs> bro, listen, man. Listen, I keep saying it. When I do a, a trailer reaction, when I do a movie mm. review, I have to. I want to be as honest as possible. Yeah, I'm yeah, not yeah. gonna try and sell it to be like, oh, it's amazing to get some views, not not just views to get their liking. Or yeah, 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 yeah. But if the movie is basic, I'm like, oh, I'm not doing a review. Because yeah, I'm not gonna say the movie shit. But then, if you already commit to them that they've given us a, a a link and you have to watch it and review it, how can I do that? But if the movie's not great, so that's why. No, no. So and that's the thing. I I don't want us to be. The, the guys that shit on people's work. They were, are going to be bad. I would ne- listen, I would never shit on anyone's work and I would never want to say something's amazing if I didn't genuinely... No, it. no, no, exactly. So, But there's two films you still need to watch. Nick Cage's new one, Arcade. Okay. And there's another one coming out. Soon you guys will see the review, uh, which is uh, some Sasquatch movie. I need to double check. But, funny enough, from what I've seen from the reviews that have come out already, people are enjoying it. 
you know what it is yeah i've just been judgmental you know what it is yeah i've just been judgmental and all the review all the oh, listen man all the screenings you go to freaking planet of the apes like marvel dc ones that'll come in soon but all the dc ones and then you're like gee i've got an amazing one for you Sats, right? i didn't say i didn't Sats, watch. Watch. i'm <laughs> like bro that's quite true Trust me, trust me, trust me. You'll see it, you'll see it, you'll see it. Anyway, if you can make time, man, I'm home. To be honest with you, I'm home. I don't even have time here. I've got less time here than I do at home home. Yeah, yeah. Because I'm here chilling with the kids and all that sort of stuff. We It was a mission for us to get this time to do yeah, this. No, 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 no. Um, but we'll get it done. He'll do the reviews. You guys will see it. Make sure you're following us on our TikTok and Instagram journey. Guys, we had an influx of people both on, on YouTube, on Spotify, on Instagram, on TikTok that had come out of nowhere. Uh, massive thank you for joining the journey and people who i know people who join online on like the social media parts it's the social media part of it like the the social part of it uh but the people that join on here that watch the podcast and watch the shorts and everything else thank you thank you for continuing it you know because of our thoughts on the world and how we feel uh, we were silenced for a little bit, but I don't know. It's a weird one. It depends. Yeah. As, but I think there's some SEO issues that we need to learn mm. uh, because we just put stuff out there. We we don't see it as because have you seen the influx of emails we get in Brothers Geek podcast? Oh man, we love the podcast. Oh man, it's amazing. But your engagement, you lose. Mm, is that what it's the views, you lose. Uh, so let's work on your SEO. So that means when we're what's uploading. What's mean though? What is it? search search engine optimization oh i see i see i see okay so you've got a team at your workplace that deal with that so it comes mm. up on google mm. and stuff like that yeah, but they pay for that stuff though you have to understand like with high-end companies and stuff like the reason yeah, why yeah, they, of course, yeah. searches, they pay and whatnot yeah 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 that's what uh, I'm but we don't need to do that I'm, yeah I'm, we've always said that so guys like i emailed them back so as long as you're willing to pay for it we've never put a budget to this yeah so thought, listen I but I work in the advertising industry. If I wanted to, bro, I could I could sign up with or I could just run some ad some from ad somewhere, like really cheap and just drive traffic to our page. Yeah. But I, and and when I say I could do that, like I I've got relationships with certain third parties that would run a campaign for like yeah, yeah, yeah exactly yeah or yeah. a thousand a thousand dollars or something like that. Now that would drive us a lot of traffic because I'll say look forget the target and just drive a shitload of people, but. I'm not paying for that, man. Well, it's not that. It's depending on the people we get and the quality, isn't it? I think they have to have some sort of interest in this to do it. So. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. The people <laughs> but, that yeah. listen to us and follow us, I think, again, it's all organic, man. Mm. People who generally like listening to our content, maybe just listening to us, hearing our thoughts, we're building mm. all this. But no matter what, like, we're still going to do our thing. We're still going to say our shit. We're still going to geek out about what we want to geek out about. Um, it's not going to be different to mm. chase you know, to please an audience or whatnot. No, of course not. Otherwise, it's not, it's, I don't, I, like I said this so many times, man, we did that before and it was fucking boring, bro. It was hard to say, oh, gee, can you watch this basic Indian movie and review it? I'm like, the fuck am I going to waste three hours watching this? Like, yeah, some good just ones, because we got 50,000 views. No, no, I'm not like back yeah, then. Yeah, yeah, back then, yeah, yeah. Just because we're getting like 50,000 views and shit, bro, you need to, you need to review this movie. I'm like, nah, man, I'm not, I'm not doing this. This is boring, bro. Um, but for such shit that we enjoy, hell yeah, man, I'll do that all day. Um, anyway, you know, that's, you know, we'll just keep doing it. Guys, just thank you. Anyway, I think what we're trying to say is thank you for all the people who are watching, um, you are listening, subscribing, all that sort of stuff. Yeah, definitely. Man, move your foot, man. Uh, all right, man, let's, let's, let's jump in. G-Man's here. We've got a month of him here. He's going to go to a couple of screenings. He's going to watch some, actually, we've got a screening that you should. Yeah, we could go on. It's Monday, twenty fourth. Okay, it's called Kill. It's actually an Indian film. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's uh, Lionsgate. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, we've got that. So the brothers will be there, and whatever else comes up, uh, we got something exciting happening on Monday. I'm looking forward to that. Meeting okay. the director oh. of uh, Indian Romulus, the one that you reacted to, and Ahmed was like, "There's no reaction." And I'm like, "But that trailer doesn't have anything to react." The to, second it? trailer gave me. Yeah, reaction. the second trailer. Yeah. Listen, this is giving me good vibes, this movie. So I'm excited, but I'll give you guys all the details when it when after Take Monday. Take a flute, bro. When yeah. you meet him, when you meet the director. No, he never did that. He never did. Okay, but just like... No, man, Ridley Scott, Scott. Ridley Scott. Ridley Scott, Ridley Scott. But here we go. Let's jump in, bro. Well, let's jump in. Look, as always, we're going to we're gonna start off. And it's going to be a quick one today, guys, just because mm. there's so much going on. But look, we always have to start off. And guys, check the description if you don't want to hear this. But Free Palestine. Free Palestine. Free yeah. Palestine. Free... Palestine. free Congo, free Sudan. Sudan, 
yelling, yeah. like just always got to speak out for those, for everyone, man. Like, you know, we, we always, no matter what, you can't stop talking. Like, it's been another crazy, it's crazy how it just doesn't stop. Mm. Like, I've been learning more, a bit more about Sudan and Congo. Uh, and because I've been searching up, it does pop up in my algorithms here and there, whatever. Mm. You know, Congo. And there's a brother that I follow. I need to find his name. I, uh, brother I follow on, on Instagram. I try and find his name. And he gives little short clips. And was, first he was, he was telling me about what with Congo. And I mentioned it before. Mm -hmm. uh, and another clip came up was um, the Belgium king, Leonardo, or whatever his name is, who had a genocide on Congo and killed on nearly 10 million Congolese. No word about him. Right? There were some other ones as well that killed African people and whatnot. That's I mean, the problem. No word about them. But Hitler, I shouldn't have said his name. But he is the worst because he killed European white people, unfortunately. It's, a it's all bad. But the, but the problem is it's the narrative, isn't it? So yeah. basically what I was learning and what becomes more clearer now, which is weird because you, you look into it, you dive into a deep uh, uh, a deep hole of that. What's it? A rabbit hole of yeah. information overload. And then you kind of work out like the systems here on the Western side of the world, not really catering history about what happened what really happened yeah it's about controlling the narrative of teach because to be honest bro in secondary school now if i was in secondary school now i want to know about my history yeah i want to know well, about my tellies i don't want to know school. about yeah no of course it's different and that's what i'm trying to teach Lara and the kids but I, now but i think but it's a white narrative yeah but what i'm saying look, look, you hear me out on this point if i live in britain which we do hmm. or you got then you should learn british history I yeah, agree, yeah, yeah, I agree, yeah, yeah yeah but they should also try to get other history involved that's what i'm saying they have to so, but they don't yes, give it a full i know extent. yes exactly so yes they prioritize british history and they, they should because you live here i think, yeah, that, yeah. I think that's true you should learn about the royal family and henry the eighth and all that shit. but you should also learn about some of the other horrors in in the world like if you're gonna bring up someone like what happened in world war ii just a, a decade or two earlier that leopold dude what he did in congo like that's what i'm trying to say it wasn't even that far wasn't even that long ago. It wasn't, we're not talking about 1500 years ago or a couple of, we're talking about a decade or two after, before World War II, and <laughs> done that to the Congolese people. You see yeah. what I'm saying? And Congo now, like I said, like what I was researching on why we say free Congo, there's a lot of stuff going on there, but the cobalt mines, you know what I mean? The cobalt mines and whatnot, it's, it's horrible. And it powers all of this shit. Yeah, Tesla yeah, yeah. And all this Samsung and all these big, all, all these big, it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's and product. We're a part of it, it's hard, as bad as it sounds, man. We've got all the products, man. And with Sudan, I'm trying to understand it, but there's some kind of thing going on between the government and the military coup and whatnot. Mm. There's something bad going on. But again, free, like, guys, you gotta, you like, donate as much as possible and make people aware of it. Palestine, okay, we, all know, yeah. we all know what's going on, and the reason why we know it's, it's on top of minds because it's, it's simply as, as bad as it sounds, they're all bad, but. What's happening is the as, as simple as it is, man. The the a Western European colonizing force is trying to occupy land. Simple as that, and they've been doing it for seventy five years. It's been one of the longest occupations in recent times, and that's why it's in history, and that's why you're going to get colonizing people who are going to be supporting it. And this is the death of babies and whatnot. Oh, that that massacre that just happened recently. Mm -hmm. They say four people had killed over two hundred seventy people, injured over a thousand, killed women and children. Right, literally shooting women and children and stuff in the head. And all the corporate media is all like rescue mission. If you search it on Google, it comes up as rescue mission. It was a massacre to kill four people, to save four people. It was disgusting, bro. Only inhumane people do that. Only when you do not look at the other people as human beings. If they were, again, I keep saying this, if they were all Hamas, nobody would give a shit. Yeah. But because they're all innocent people, not all, I'm sure there were some Hamas people. If there were, because there were so many innocent women and children, sure. That's why it's a problem. But they're not strategic humanity. in what they're doing. No, no, Honestly. they're not because they want, they want them all to die. Yeah, yeah. If they wanted to be strategic, because I watched it on Breaking Points. And again, guys, check it out. They done an analysis of some rescue missions in the past. And it was like civilians killed zero. And this was by the West as well. Civilians killed zero. Civilians killed zero. Civilians killed one. Civilians killed zero. This one, civilians killed 270 people. It's not strategic. They want, and it's blatant that they want, they don't look, they have dehumanized the Palestinian people. And that's why they, they're happy to just kill children. Um, you know, you're killing innocent people, but when you're happy to kill children, you look at these people are, disgusting the most evil people on the planet is is absolutely horrible man the u.s had just announced i think that they, they're getting rid of that pair 
that pair was used just to, to help. I don't care what anyone said. That pair was used to help with the genocide. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, there was no no aid or nothing. There was no, no waste of again waste, waste of U.S. taxpayers payers money. That's why a lot of U.S. people are against this because like you're using our money to do this. That's what it is. That's why people when people say why are you talking out for it's because you're using our money. I know we're not in the U.S., but the British government supports support it anyway. Them too, as well. We still want tax problem. money anyway. Um, which is horrible. Which is horrible. The reality we in at the moment now is insane, bro. It's insane. I, I I can't fathom like what I'm witnessing right now. And oh. you know what? How people are going to be taught history later on. You know oh, I mean? we won't forget though. You know, um, Google's white Palestine off the map. Yeah, so, bro. That you is about, yeah, you talk about all this ethnic cleansing. You talk about this genocide. Like you're literally doing it in our face. You're wiping them off the map. The the Israeli government leaders are talking about doing it. They're killing them. They're doing it, right? Um, and you talk about oh, Hamas has it in their charter. Cool. Like they do. So does Israel. So does Israel. Who's yeah. actually doing it? It's Israel. Yeah. Right? Maybe Hamas, if they were in charge, maybe you never know. I I, I won't say that they they won't do it. Right, but the fact of the matter is, they both have it in their charter, and is yeah, yeah. doing it. I say get rid of both of them, man. Like, I mean, the US is not helping anyway, but only way forward, man, get rid of both of them. I mean, this is what I, my opinion is, man. And just you've got to change governments on both sides, man. But Yahoo's got the court, like Yahoo and other idiots got the court case, and hopefully, there'll be more of their government leaders that will have court cases, not court cases, so arrest warrants or whatnot. Um, I don't know, it's just heartbreaking when I talk, I talk here and expressing myself, but I, I don't, I don't, I don't know much as much as like, you know, like a normal Finkelstein or any of them sort of that, you know, they think, people do the report. We're not, we're not journalists. No, we're, we're just not, giving our thoughts and what we're seeing. It's heartbreaking. I think that's what the hard part is. And I, I find it hard. I keep saying, I wish I could better articulate myself in the pain I suffer when I, when I see the, and hear what's going on. And, and I know what Western culture and Western media are like, like, you know, BBC done it that time. When we had the riots in Tottenham that spurred off everything with Mike uh, with Mark Duggan, mm. uh, and I was thinking that like, they're asking questions about the loot and they're talking to these kids and they're filming their trainers and their outfits and I'm like, why are you filming that for? Yeah, what what caused it? What caused it? Why they, are you filming? This is always the thing. What caused it? They don't want to talk about that. They just want to talk about the aftermath or whatever. Yeah. It's the same thing with Palestine. It's like mm. what caused Horrible. these certain things? Like Horrible. it's disgusting. Well, look, I've come to a conclusion. Not conclusion. My own thoughts. Like, bro, you have to understand. <laughs> there's been empires like mm. from you know from Genghis Khan to Alexander the Great to Napo whatever it is Napoleon. All these sort of like empires and and uh, uh, um, what you call it, emperors and everything, right? We're currently in a time where it's the Western Empire. Like mm. that's fact. And and I think in history you got I don't know history. I got I really don't know, but in my time, from what I'm seeing, it's like the biggest empire of all time. Mm. That's bring a lot. Listen, all empires bring some positive stuff. Like it's not just all negative, but unfortunately, a lot of the negative is dehumanizing humanizing people, killing people, they're stealing land, stealing riches, stealing um uh Reason, minerals, yeah, resources. Yeah. That's a part of it. But you, you have to understand. This empire that we're in now, it is the most powerful one, bro. Not just for military, not from look, think about the influence has over the mainstream media, propaganda mm -hmm. media about around the world, right? You go to Asia, I went to, I lived in Hong Kong, people thought Muslims were terrorists because they had listened to West Street, West. Yeah, 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 media, yeah exactly. Right? Yeah, yeah. You're talking about all the movies, right? That we watch, that mm -hmm. we love. We love, we're part of this empire, bro. We no, no, of course. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're talking about all the food, the coke, the Coca-Cola, the McDonald's that we're trying to boycott now. It's all over the world. It's a and it's it's the biggest empire of all time. You have to give it to. I'm not saying credit where credit's due, but you have to give it to when it comes to empires and rule in the world. Yeah, it yeah, is, they got their bro, got everything their we love, all of this stuff that we got on, well, that Hulk and what it's all from the empire, all of this stuff. Mm. And I'm not saying that it's all negative because you know what, we you know, alhamdulillah, we live in good times, right? Good things does come out of every empire like you you like i, I again i don't know all the history but when i read this stuff about genghis khan yeah it was barbaric or whatnot yeah but some of the stuff that he bought in regards to community and uh letting people be their own religion but it's like you're under my rule but do your, what you're doing and certain taxes that they put in places where they're like well i don't know i don't know off the top of my head but i'm saying every empire end of the day even though they're trying to rule and stuff there's something that they bring that civilization uses now from a positive perspective yeah, yeah. so you know I wish I could list them all out, but I know that, like, I'm talking as an uneducated Bruce right now, but, you know, you know what I'm trying to say, right? 
Um, but this is what I'm saying. This is why the mainstream propaganda and propaganda media and everything that they've been doing for the since World War Two is, you know, they've they've literally ruled the world with everything, right? And it was we're involved in so much in this empire. So now, you know, what's scary is like <clears throat> you don't want an emperor getting dethroned because it leads to war and killing, right? Mm. That's the unfortunate thing. Like it's, they're never gonna surrender. Like it's not about surrendering, it's just about being even. But now you've got Russia and China, you know, and the BRICS countries and all that sort of stuff. That's like the global south coming up and whatnot. Bro, one empire who's on charge now is never going to let go of the power they have without no, no, without no, fighting. No, and, that, and that's, and that's scary. scary. Yeah, but that's scary because I don't want yeah. we don't want that. You know, I just read something about the Russians have moved some um uh some what do you call those ships, man, the warships to near Cuba. Yeah. Now, back in the seventies, they had that that Russian Cuban missile crisis. So everyone keeps saying, "Is this is, is this the Russian you know Cuban missile crisis again?" I don't know. Everything's scary right now, man. And you know, unfortunately, you know, military and the agenda. I mean, look, I, I don't know if it's unfortunate, but what Israel's done, they've exposed the West. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. Forget about what they're doing to themselves because they're getting blacklisted. They're getting yeah, they're certain going nowhere. Yeah, they're so Israeli people. That's what I feel sorry for. It's like the innocent Jewish people that are there, even if it's the, if they're Zionists. Yeah. Because I've had a couple of conversations with Zionists, and I'm like, you know, okay, you you trust to buy kids and and women and men getting killed, yeah. But where are you gonna go now? You got different parts of the world shutting you down. You yeah. won't be able to travel nowhere. Yeah, you can just go to the US. Want your US land? Yeah. If, you, if this is the land you want. You're stuck there now. Forever, yeah. You're not going to be able to go nowhere because everybody's going to be like, this is what your government did. We're not going to let you in the country. And that's horrible for them. I've yeah. got to say, yeah, that's horrible. Yeah, of course it is. You know, let alone the fact, bro, I don't know how they are uh, brainwashed into thinking but that, nobody was on this land before. Yeah, but that's, that's what I'm saying. It's brainwashed. How is it that bad, bro? Because some of the conversations, yeah, but they're like, oh, they're Hamas. They're Hamas. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm, I'm so baffed. A kid. No, but that's what I'm saying. It's been brave, bro. The same way other people, other dictators and murderous bastards have dictated, uh, sorry, had brainwashed a group of people. They've done the same thing, bro. From birth, they've from brainwashed. country, bro. Then it's 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 like the educational system. Oh, they're, they're they're just peasants. They ain't nothing. But that's why, but no, but that's why. Oh, again, I forget names and apologize, man. There's another. Oh, I I, I watched a documentary. I'm gonna mention it. There's another Jewish brother who was a Zionist. He's a therapy dude. You get talking about trauma. Like, I know you know. Uh, Dr. Gabbert. 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 Yeah, Gabbert Sutton. Sutton, oh. yeah. Uh, he was a Zionist. Yeah. He believed in the Jewish state. He still does. But we say for, for at what cost, though? But when he saw the truth, cool. he, he was like, well, this ain't right. Same with uh, Frank, uh, Norman Finkelstein. You know? Like, they believe in that. In, in, well, I don't know if they believe in the Jewish state, but they're like, of course, the Jewish people should be safe and whatnot, but not at not at the cost of other people. So when people see it, bro, they 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 um they just open their eyes. I just saw something the other day, bro, a video on YouTube that's been circling around, and these these you know Orthodox Jewish protesters, protesting yeah, yeah, yeah. In Israel, and then there's this woman who's like, "What's wrong with you people? Are yeah. you Jewish? What's wrong with you people?" And they're like telling them like, "You're Zionist. The Zionist." Is is different from Jewish. And she's like, no, I'm Zoo, I'm Jewish. How could you be having this Palestinian? Yeah, yeah, I've seen that. And the Ju the Jewish Orthodox is just like she's trying to tell them they're the ones who practice the religion of Judaism. Yeah. They know it inside. Like when I say know it, they they they're practicing Jew Jewish Jewish yeah, yeah, yeah. Bodies, yeah. And this woman's she's been brainwashed. She has no idea why they would be doing it. She's not even gonna think. Like so I wish I don't know what happened with her, but I wish one of them just grabbed her and said, "Listen, sister, like you've been brainwashed." Like, let, let you have to be educated. On what they, they will learn. They will learn. But this they documentary I watched, actually, it's called Where the Olive Trees Weep. Oh, um, bro, I need to watch this. Yeah. So, okay. I, you know, you can, guys, check it out. You can watch it for free. Yeah. You can give a donation, and that donation goes towards uh, Palestine and everything. But I, I gave a little donation just to, to, just to watch it. But again, it's, it's, I've seen those documentaries. Uh, this was another amazing, when I say amazing, it's a heart touching documentary mm. man. you had a few different activists on their palestinian activists palestinian journalists uh you had that guy gabbert something yeah yeah, Dr. Gabbert, yeah yeah i gotta find his name i, I might be making it up no no it's, i can remember it's gabbert there's, there's another one bro that's i oh, have a question gabbert sorry yeah. gabbert mate yeah gabbert right. mate dr yeah. gabbert mate 
he was on it and you know they were talking like not just a lot of people know the stories man of of the occupation of the illegal settlers but just to see the local people man mm. and then just this guy who had a farmland is just like they're just just taking my land they live in a they live in a tent now they just set fire to everything because they just bulldoze it and when i go to court nothing happens and at the end they just take my land some of the activists or whatnot the the bro the the, the, the israeli military just kill them like kill them break their legs like they just do whatever they can to destroy them man it's it's heartbreaking when you just see it in a documentary like when you see real life stuff that's going on i think is is it's is hard enough and i need to watch that there's another one called uh israelism oh, okay which is breaking charts on apple tv and other streaming services okay uh but i'm just as like we're getting the content you know and we're getting history it's there, it's yeah. there. i think it's where people take themselves i think some people i mean people always tell me i'm too consumed and i'm like how can you not be consumed man they're, they're children there are people losing their lives yeah. across the world i think kevin spacey come back suddenly oh yeah yeah, yeah well, he's on a comeback bro yeah pr companies have been he pushing him on bed he was on lex speedman's promo yeah, yeah, Morgan. Morgan. yeah. I'm like bro your pr company's working great my man is like pierce asked him a question about where you living now mm. and he started busting up like busting into tears i'm like he's an actor mm. yeah i'm sorry my man was getting 20 million uh, for that Netflix show about the West Wing or something. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 20 mil, he was yeah. getting an episode, bro. My guy yeah. did seven episodes, uh, seven seasons. Freaking that out. was money, bro. Yeah. Oh, I ain't got nothing, I don't know where I'm living. And, oh, and really? I was like, oh. yeah, bro, he was crying, bro. Like, he had to move out or some shit like that. And listen, there are a couple of people that I... I, I don't, I've never idolised anybody. I've always said, you know, there's somebody there that inspires respect, yeah, and yeah, respect yeah, yeah, yeah. Inspires. <clears throat> kevin spacey listen man your movies and the parts you played you cool man but that there was a usi moment man bullshit that was a bullshit moment where yeah. it was like i can't believe you're saying this and there's people dying across the world you you're fine bro your suit alone was bucks mm. you came on with a nice suit and you're talking about you don't know where you're going to be next he doesn't know I, I remember putting up a video about it and people were busting up because I said, welcome to reality, man. Yeah. Welcome to reality because this is how it is for some people. Yeah. And you're going to feel it. And I know your PR company is pushing it because you didn't get the guilty plea. To be honest, he did what he did. Yeah. He did what he did because you you were the next Michael Jackson, sorry to say, because there was other shit going on in the world at the was time. He guilty? It, was he guilty? Or yeah, what? it was guilty. Okay. He was guilty. guilty and then they, no, no. No, he wasn't charged, bro. He wasn't charged? Yeah. Fucking okay, hell. Yeah. Yeah, he wasn't charged, so he's out and about doing his thing. But that's what I'm saying. Like the way it's controlled, the way the narrative is controlled, the way people look for stuff. Listen, uh, go do your own thing. Go watch these movies. Go watch these things. But donate as much as you can. All the links are on our social. That's media. what it is. Listen, like people know though. People, this, and this is where the Zionist movement are losing. Even yeah. though they control the tech companies yeah. and they try to change the narrative, history is on. It's all there. You can't take it down. So <clears throat> they're trying to change history. They're going to try and make you forget history. But it's important for us to not forget the history to learn it is there they can wipe palestine off the map on google but we all know it's there um it's always gonna be there um so yeah no fuck them man it's, it's like listen like i say like we would have to carry on history we would have to teach our kids our children they'll never forget but thank god for the internet even though they try to control it thank god for them man because for the internet because that's the way we can learn from these things and that's why i've been learning so much more um there was something else I wanted to laugh about. Oh, that Sunak idiot. Did you see that that the memes going around about this fool saying that he never had Sky? He was trying to say he was poor and he was trying to be like, oh, I never had Sky. And now he's, bare, he's getting cut. What an idiot. I love that he's got such a punchable But face. did you see the way he kind of panics? He, he's got rat face, hasn't he? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, um, you no, know what? It does have a rat face. He's got, rat, he's got, rat, face, man. got a rat face, man. Yeah. They probably said that about me, bro, because somebody said that I've got a punchable face. Which okay. is cool. Who said I that? I did that as a compliment. Please. a long time ago. I can't remember. Somebody said it. I probably annoyed them and they were like, you know, you got a punchable face. And I was like, well, he's got, he's definitely got a punchable right, face. Right, he got a punchable face. He's got a face that you could slap twice. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know, like you go in yeah. backhand and come out. That yeah. Way. So, you know, as he's going in, yeah. He get, like, it's weird. I don't know why I'm imagining that. Sky TV, bro, he panicked in that interview. Didn't yeah, yeah. Like, I didn't want to hold it. The, in, the, the guy who was doing the interview was like, so what was it you didn't have? You know? And he was like, uh, well, there's loads of things. There's loads of things. Yeah. And it's like, 
Shut the like, fuck up. Yeah, I hate you. That voice. interviewer should have slapped him in the face, man. But the problem is, like, listen, bro. Again, I always say it. Those guys at the front line, puppets, they don't really do anything. They're just there so that the public can blame them for shit. Yeah. And, and he, he's, people will cuss him for a long time. It's the people in the background, guys. And people maybe say, oh, kids, conspiracy shit, you smoke too much weed and stuff. I ain't touched weed in a long time. Yeah. But there's there's other things working in the background, guys. These guys are fronts. Uh, to be honest, I feel like governments like the United States and UK at the moment is pure jokes. Like since COVID, jokes. Oh, it's been comedy can, It's man. been like, they're, they're like a, it's like a carry on episode. Like, what the hell? You guys are on some next shit, getting away with next shit, doing some crazy shit, having parties and shit. They've been all characters. Like, think about yeah, it. Yeah, 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 bro. Like, from Boris Johnson, who looks like a clown, who looks like Donald Trump's cousin or something. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. You've got this Sunak fool who looks like a clown. <laughs> in, in the US, you've got a zombie as a yeah. president currently now. You got uh, Trump, who's is is freaking hilarious and a comedy camp as well, uh, with his hair. That's what I'm saying. Like something got like JFK Jr., whose voice is all fucked up and whatnot. I mean, that, I mean, his voice is fucked up, but like, it, I don't know. It's all comedy camp. It's like, like it's it's all jokes. Like you know what I'm saying. Like, the government's been like that. I think the more we've seen now as adults, we 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 see the because you look back, bro. You go back, man. Thatcher, John Major, and all them people. You look at them, and each of them have joke traits like idiot idiocy they're like some idiocy put people like yeah they're willing to think oh you know what my name's gonna be up there with the greats the greats bro look what happened to winter uh, uh what's that Alfred hitchcock not Alfred hitchcock uh winter churchill's down for hitchcock he lose bro <laughs> you need you know <laughs> no but look in this country they're always gonna <laughs> love him and he's gonna be known as 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 the the hero of world war ii you have to talk trying to say you that everyone all of them has positives you, you have to put that there no no of course it's a list of positives and negatives and I'm, I'm what i'm saying i don't know nothing about him but there are positives that he's done for the country right yeah yeah but there are negatives um, you can't negatives, you yeah. can't exclude the negatives the famine that caused i feel like two to four million deaf people deaf in india that's a that that should be on his name that's a part of him you can't say oh make excuses for it and whatnot okay he was the prime minister for a thing he got us through world war ii and all that stuff brilliant put the negatives too he made four thousand million people die because of the famine in in india he caused that simple and not just him but his system his politics his yeah. people whatever they caused it man you can't take that away now i'm not going to sit here and say he's a fucking dick because they're all dicks all government leaders are dicks. Not, 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 not. You can't single out just one of them. No, no, no of course. They're, they're all evil. Each, each and every evil. one. Of them. Each and every one. Of them. Each one to their own. But listen, uh, main thing is, guys, if you can donate, do the best you can. Make sure you share the share the news. I know we had a story that was shared so many times, and people are starting to come out of the woodworks that didn't know which side to pick. Really and truly, there's no sides to pick because we don't want people dying. Yeah, pick humanity. Yeah, exactly. It's we don't so want cheap to pick humanity. Yeah, property. But I'm telling you, free Palestine. They they have to. That has to be. The thing is, we won't probably see that resolved in our lifetime. Yeah, no. they'll have this whatever. But the thing is, we've lost far too many people. Now there's going to be something else. It won't even be Hamas. And you tell me who won't want revenge for what happened. Exactly. We're all human. Fucking hell, I can't have someone cut me up on the road without me going crazy. Exactly. Think about what the fuck they're going for. But people have said that so many times. You've yeah. got to go down to the root issue. The root issue is the fact of the matter is, fact is that they've been, they, they've been occupied by a European race who claim to have the land or their ancestors claim the land 2,000 years ago. 2,000 years ago. I, I, that argument kills me. But listen, bro. Listen, man. I don't need to be like... You're, you're claiming that those are your listen and i'm not saying for 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 the real jewish brothers and sisters right that they, they, there is claim for that land not claim but they were there from that land from ages ago years ago thousands of years ago whatnot but all these european looking dudes are claiming that land bro two a hundred years my kids your kids are, are, are my grand our grandkids or whatnot if they're like i'm from bangladesh you look at their face like oh yeah i could i could tell like yeah 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 exactly. them dude you look 100% European, you know, like nothing like Arabs. Because the fact that it's in Palestine, that's an Arab 
region, man. They look nothing like people from that region. It's like, how the hell do you claim a land where you look nothing like that? <laughs> like, it's well, crazy. Listen, bro, it's what happened with... And the... you can't just say, oh, we were expelled. It's in your DNA. Like, if I was expelled from my country, bro, I've been living in the UK and then our DNA passed on. Still freaking Bengali looking, man. No, how, no. Could you, how could you be like... It, bro, it's, it's a weird argument. Bro, yeah, listen, they did the they did that in the States. That's why with, in with the, with the Indians. Yeah, right. I know, but that's why in, 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 in Israel, you know, you're not allowed to take a free me and eat test or DNA to yeah, yeah, You're I not know. allowed. Why? Because you're gonna say you come from Europe. It's yeah, not gonna yeah. say you come, come from, from the Middle yeah, 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 exactly. East or Palestine or whatnot. So that's illegal there. That's how crazy it is. It's dumb, man. It's dumb. Listen, side of humanity and side of humanity is innocent people not getting killed. And when when whatever force is killing in innocent people. Those are the sides you don't want to be on. Exactly. So I'm saying, like, you don't want to be on this. And I'm not justifying anyone. I'm like, fuck Hamas too. Fuck them too. Like, like I'd say anyone who's caused any death on innocent people. Fuck Horrible. Them. Horrible. So, but they they are IDF at the moment now. Oh, they're the worst people. They're, the they're terrorists as well. Terrorists. Oh, terrorists. I'm saying yeah, they're terrorists. Yeah, oh, man. And Yahoo as well. Yahoo is... I just a... posted on my Instagram again, and just today, another post saying... The, the, Catch this terrorist. Um, he is a terrorist. The yeah. IDF, the I, the I, the uh, Israeli occupying force, the IOF, are a terrorist group. I don't give a fuck. I would say it. Yeah. I, I was hesitant before, but now everyone no, knows that, they're right. a terrorist, terrorist group. They're, terrorists, they're, they're the terrorists. worst terrorists in. And the, listen, they're up there with the ISISs and the, all them lot. They're up there with hundred percent, bro. They're the same. 100%. They're the same people. The same people, man. Yeah. But remember. Do do you do, do your due diligence? Due diligence, I can't even speak. Uh, but yeah, donate, guys. Links are in our bios. Links will be in the description. Let's move on, bro. Let's do this. Yeah, time. let's move on, guys. <laughs> Palestine, free Congo, free Sudan, yes. free Palestine, free Congo, free Sudan, uh, Yemen, bro. Yemen, yeah, heartbreaking. Yeah, free, heartbreaking. yeah. Listen, man. So much going on. Skin tone still issues. Well, it's not even the skin tone, it's religion, religion as well. The Indians, the, the, that new that terrorist Modi there, he, he hates Muslims and he's getting all the... He's, again, he's brainwashing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Innocent. He, there's some Hindu people that don't like the Muslims, they want to kill him anyway, so they, he's just giving them encouragement, he's brainwashing more. So it's it's our religion, man. People And they, they, they fear our religion. And I think Malcolm X said it the best, because he, he said it for the US. He goes, Islam will cure racism. Islam will yeah, cure yeah, yeah, a lot yeah, of yeah. things in the world. And they're scared of that. Right? They're scared of the how what Islam can cure, like the, the good things, like the racism, the financial, the poor people, all that sort of stuff. Like they, they don't want that. You know what I mean? No, That's of course why. not. That's because they want that division between people. Because the one thing that Islam teaches is that when I stand next to my brother, we're one. That's it. We don't see race. You're not supposed to. Culture, anything else. We see us, we see Islam as one. As as one, we pray as one. Yeah, we pray. You know, one together. Yeah, one God. So no matter what, yeah, it it doesn't race, equality, divisions, whatever, cultures, don't mean nothing. That's when I'm standing next to my brother or anybody else. We're as one praying. Yeah, if you look at videos of Hajj now, or any, you, you just can see that's what that's what opened up Michael Max's eyes. He was mm. like, he went to Hajj and he was like, I'm praying and breaking bread with blue, uh, white, white. I was going to say blue people. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> White skin, blue eyed, yeah. young haired people. The people that he thought that he should hate mm. and that thought that hated him. And he was like, what's going on here? And that was Islam that brought that them Islam, together. Yeah. You know? So definitely. That's what they, listen, that's what they're against. And, you know, that's what they're trying to, they've, they've been doing this for ages. The propaganda media. Oh, yeah. And then, you know, like I say, it's not just the Western. It's, it's in India, unfortunately, as well as a lot of stuff. But a lot all over the world, you saw that shit in Myanmar. Yeah. Um, you know, the Buddhists doing that to the... It's just horrible. It's horrible. Anyway, guys, be on the side of humanity. Just be nice to each other. Yeah, man. man. Be excellent to each other. Let's move on, guys, to things we watched. Things we watched. I watched Bad Boys 4. Mm -hmm. Oh, bro, that movie was awesome. It was, bro. So number three kind of like, you know, after many years, you bring out number three. Yeah. And yes... It wasn't the best, right? And then number four comes out. It was still all right. No, it was still all right. Yeah. But I was just about what I was about to say, right? You could see the difference between four and three. It was the relationship yeah, between yeah. those two. Yeah. So in number three, you know, my laws went on a retirement thing and they kind of broke up. And yeah, yeah. There wasn't that vibe between them. 
Number four brought that straight back. Yeah. Just the commodity so between them, the vibe, the jokes, just everything. Just them being together makes you laugh. Yeah, right? yeah exactly. And it, well, the movie was awesome. The action was awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. MVP was uh, Reggie. Uh, Reggie. Yeah, Reggie. Like, I love the fact that he was just always playing games. Always yeah, 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 yeah. Getting cussed by Martin Lawrence. <laughs> Constantly, and then when he stepped up, he smashed. Bro, him. that scene was sick. Wicked. That was shot really well. That really scene, well. That scene was really well. The, the whole movie was shot really very well. well. Whatever very they, 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 their creativity with the camera. That's what I'm saying with the action movies these days. The creativity with the camera work is just taking the action to another level. Yeah, yeah, this yeah, movie exactly. was shot brilliantly with the camera angles. Because they did have pull outs of some of the scenes that they were doing, actually. But when they did close ups, like that gum scene, yeah, was sick because I'm like Doom, Doom or yeah. shoot up game, yeah, like crisis. You, yeah, you think of stuff like that straight away, which is really good. Very cool. You know, look, the story is not amazing. I think the chemistry between Martin and Will coming back just was just it, it worked perfectly. I feel like it, it that should have been number three. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But it's amazing <laughs> they, because they use like his son and characters from yeah, the yeah, yeah, movie. Yeah. To make this movie even more awesome, Definitely. so it's kind of like a wicked redemption of. Like, I'm not saying number three was the shittest movie in the world. No, it wasn't. But for a bad boys movie, it just wasn't there. Yeah. Right. And with the stories, to be honest with you, bro, these are one of the top type of movies where the story doesn't have to be great. No. I just want to see Mike Lowry. Yeah. yeah. And uh, what the hell's thing's name? Mike Lawrence. No, no, what's his name? That's crazy. I don't know his character's name because you always know Mike Lowry. But the point is, I just want to see those two on an adventure, which is yeah. what they do, like an action adventure. And that's what makes it jokes, because that's all you want to see with those two. The movie just had me laughing throughout the whole film. Yeah, bro. The they action some, scenes yeah. were awesome uh, and had me like just kind of like pumped. Um, bro, the movie was awesome. I really, really... Marcus, Marcus, Marcus. Marcus, there you go. Yeah, yeah. Marcus. Bro, that's it. Them two just cracking jokes. It's the best. It's the best, bro. It's so funny. It's a great duo. I loved it, man. Brilliant movie. Now, yeah. if they do more, I'll be up, more like oh, that. Yeah, I'm, I'll on be up I'm on it. I'm you on it. You know, definitely. when they done three and I watched it, and I was like, oh, okay, whatever. I didn't really care for number four. You know what? It's on now. I'm going to go watch it while we're having dinner. We can watch it. We can watch pop it. it on because I feel like it doesn't get, it's hard, bro, because movies get bigger, better, direction changes. Uh, and I feel like I didn't watch number three before we watched four. So it'd be interesting to watch it again. Yeah, and yeah, then yeah. see from there. But to be honest, this ranking system is always one thing I've always hated. Because if I enjoy a movie, I enjoy a movie. I know, I know, I know. I know. But it's, yeah. yeah, it comes down to your opinion. But what, what I'm saying is like, you've got one, two, which is amazing. Then three comes out so long, you're so anticipated. And then it was just kind of like, it wasn't there. And it was just a relationship. That's what it, the main thing about this movie is their, their, their jokes, their, their relationship. relationship their and I just yeah. feel like they split that a little bit. That's, yeah, like, yeah. that's where the movie lures a little bit. Like, <laughs> no, it. definitely. But Let's poor, do. poor bang, bro, if they do the same, Lose, I was gonna fucking throw up a lot. If they do the same, four, five, six, yeah, seven, I can take it. I know, sorry, man. I'm fasting today. Bear gap. Oh, mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, no, bad boys, awesome. Wicked. No, that was bad good. boys. Well, I could watch that again. I could definitely Listen, watch that. Listen, man, again. crossover needs to happen. Axel Foley. Oh yeah, where did this four come from? I don't know. Like I know that they had a picture together because when they were filming it, it was filming at the same time in the oh, same area. Okay, okay. And then I can't I left the cinema and I was like if I was to see Eddie Murphy as Axel Foley in this, and I don't know why, because I've been watching the Beverly Hills Cop series again, and I was like, he's iconic, bro. Like, and I know you guys did the retro uh, movie reaction uh, re- review on that one. Uh, that first movie, it, again, is lightning in a bottle. Mm. And because he's got this, he get he really gets himself out of things because of, not because of the action, even though he, that action gets better along the movies, mm. his mouth, bro. Yeah, his, yeah, his, yeah. His, his personality. Like, you know, when he went into the warehouse and he went in there randomly, asked the screw guard for a lighter, call your manager, yeah. and he caused all sorts of madness. But he did that because of the confidence of what he brings to himself. Yeah. I love that because that's that's a character you want to be like when, when you go into a meeting or when you go to meet somebody yeah. that you could be, He's so forward with the way he thinks. You know, like the, there's a part in that that cracks me up. So he goes in at the restaurant. It's just before, you know, the Harrow Club is just a man. That oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But what he was telling the waiter before he went in, yeah. because he was like, I think you should tell him that we've got. He made up some so next disease. disease. Yeah. <laughs> and then he goes, then the waiter goes, no, I think it's better that you, 
you tell me something. <laughs> you, I mean, you comes from you. And I was like, you're so basic, but he did it because yeah. you put somebody else in that situation because of the situation. Yeah. Like, uh, he worked it really well. No, 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 no. The idea, I came out to cinema, I was like, like, the tune was in my head and I was like, listen, that was so much fun that I know that I'm going to absolutely adore Axel Foley when, we, when it comes out next month. <clears throat> We need to watch that together. Yeah. Uh, so I'm so looking forward to that. But I don't know. It was just, I could see them all working together on a case. Like, they come to Beverly Hills. Yeah. They, go, they all, all they... like, something happens, Beverly Hills, they cross paths. Because they're in Miami, right? Like, they're always in Miami. Yeah. And then, I mean, listen, it, it will be, it'll be amazing. Yeah, 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 yeah definitely. Job, comedy, comedy geniuses in one. Yeah. It'll be freaking out. Bad Boys 4, listen, but I, it, it, the franchise has broken a billion dollars. Billion, yeah. Yeah, amazing. this movie, I think it's doubled its uh, whatever. Yeah. What, it's, whatever. it's a summer action movie, which we haven't had in a long time. And I was watching a video on Will Smith recently. And whatever you feel about how Will Smith is, if you take that equation out, watch a movie, you're going to enjoy it. Uh, but I feel like what we didn't have in a long time since COVID is that summer action blast movie just fun yeah <clears throat> no brainer come out the cinema like when we came out of that screening bro i haven't like i said that's the first time i've been at a screening since avengers endgame where people were cheering shouting and laughing really loud like it was like a football match yeah, yeah yeah and i was like wow i've never seen that reaction like that in ages and we came out the cinema we were all talking everybody was bare excited gassed and moist and the rest of it and then i was like Oh my god! And then you know the following day, Will Smith shares our reaction from yeah, Twitter, and I'm yeah, like, yeah. "This is insane!" And it was the honest truth. I came out of that cinema buzzing. Me and Ash came out I, buzzing. So did I, bro. Yeah. So, like, my missus watched it as well. She really enjoyed it as well. Yeah. Because that's what that movie does. You don't have to be a fa like my missus don't know nothing about Bad Boys or Will Smith and and whatnot. Uh, she knows a little bit and 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 uh, Martin Lawrence and whatnot. Yeah. But that movie. She she came out. She enjoyed it. She she was laughing at the comedy as well because this is funny, bro. silly, 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 funny comedy. It's, Listen, bro, the bro, good really <laughs> movie. I'm, I feel like this year we've had some good movies, good and movies. we haven't had many. Think about it. we haven't had many. And no super good one. No super. Well, we have Madame Web was awesome. Bro. No, I'm joking. I should have cussed that movie. We have had super movie movies, but um, no, there haven't been the front four. Exactly. Front, where exactly. it's nice to see. The average show movie, not average show. I wouldn't say average no, no, show. I would say just the 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 traditional blockbuster movies. That's it. That's like, it. Traditional man, Armageddon days, bro. Like, but yeah. Like, I just want to see some destruction, people going crazy, and a great soundtrack. You know what I mean? So that's it, man. This movie brought it back, man. This yeah. movie brought it back. Good, good, so good. Film. I would love to see more if they made more. It's hundred percent. Um, Definitely. So that would be pretty awesome. Good. I watched. What, what did I watch? Snapchat. I actually watched Snapchat. What do you think? It wasn't bad, actually. It's really good. Unless I pull it on, to yeah. be honest with you, I watched it, uh, I put it on a while back. I watched that 30 minutes. I was like, okay, it's all right. It's okay. Cool. You're right. Then I finished off the movie and I was like, oh, this wasn't bad. I mean, like these young entrepreneurs, you know, hustling and whatnot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The ending took a hot. When you said emotional, yeah. I saw the interview and you saw it was getting a bit emotional. It took a bit of a heart. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, spoiler alerts. I mean, he kind of loses everyone except his best friend. And yeah. His best friend was there at the end of the day. They had a little like tip, tip yeah. and whatnot over a girl, and it's like, oh, that's a little bit of a typical thing, but it happens. But end of the day, his best friend was there for him because he, he ended up losing everyone, man. It was kind of hot, like touching. I was like, yeah. oh, that's deep. But I loved their enthusiasm. I loved the business, the the entrepreneur so good, mentality so they had, and yeah, it was kind of joke. It was actually pretty good. I I genuinely enjoyed Listen, it. man, I I love the coming to age movie where you're you're growing with the characters you're understanding what they're going through in that situation and adam like he said because it was parts of his childhood as he's as he was growing mm. up uh and you know that scene where the mum and dad uh have this really crazy rant in between when he's getting in trouble yeah and like i'm like how do you keep a straight face during that and he was like i have no idea but they were so funny mm. like but it, a lot of it's scripted really well like i mean i'm learning more about these interviews, about what sort of questions am I asking? Because <clears throat> I could be asking the everyday question, man, and getting these opportunities are hard enough as it is. And to get them, massive shout outs to Paramount UK for that, is the, the process of how strict they are with their writing, bro. Mm. So some of the stuff that you see on the screen, it's written, bro. That's crazy. To the T. Yeah. Nobody moves away from the script. You yeah. stick to the script and you act it out. 
but this this is what I'm thinking. Like th- th- there's there's amazing things from both ends. You got that stick to the stick to the script hundred percent, and it can work out amazingly. And then you got I don't know maybe comedy. I'm thinking like Joe, uh, Seth Rogen and them boys who probably do a lot of uh, improv. Improv. But no, and it's, it's hilarious. Hilarious. they're actually quite strict as well. Though. Oh, is it? It's the writing that needs to be funny. I guess to connect. Yeah, yeah. I, but I guess that the base has to be strict. So you like. Like if you got the base strict and then some things, there's, I'm trying to think. There's, I know there's certain things. You know, like he's Batman down. down with Danny yeah. Mc, uh, what's his name? Danny McBridge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there, he he does improv on that. You see the outtakes. When you see outtakes, is because they're trying different things. Yeah, right? but they're hilarious, man. No, yeah. proper, proper, proper. So I think proper. you get both amazing from both ends. No, and when you do follow the script and the script is amazing, I mean it 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 is to the T. Like it's awesome. This movie was, bro, generally was okay, bro. Yeah. I, I I didn't feel like, like, oh, it's a chore or I didn't want to finish it off. Yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, th- there's movies like that, you know. The Van it's Dan hard one. though, because it's like, uh, what's the other movie with Sam Rockwell? With the kid who comes to work at the Oh, the resort. yeah, 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 yeah. I know what you're talking about. Um, Steve Carell's in him. I know what you're talking about, yeah. Oh, my God. Such a really nice coming of age story about yeah. a kid growing up. Learning about drinking, partying, and, and all the rest of it. So it's a, it's a good movie. It's a good film. It's gone right out of my yeah, head. Steve Carell was a dick to him. Yeah, 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 yeah. Damn, that's a good movie. Let me try and Google it. But um, <coughs> oh, no, that's good. And also, it brought back to the nineties, man. You know, oh, yeah, like, that's that's yeah. us. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah. That's us. Uh, sorry, I gotta I gotta find this, man. Say, the way back. The way back. The way back. Yeah, you got good the way back. Yeah, yeah. Good memory. Way back. Check um, that movie out, guys. Yeah, that's definitely check out the Snack Shack. It's out on. Is it digital downloads now? Yeah, digital downloads them to rent now. It's up on Apple TV as well. So check it out, guys. A really good, fun, coming of age story. And based in 1991 in Nebraska, uh, I was 10. You must have been nine. Oh, no, you nine. I'm not no, one. Nine, sorry, <laughs> nine. Yeah, sorry. Seven or something. Seven or something, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Check it out, guys. Good film. Good film. Cool, man. The other thing I watched was um, Acolytes, episode three, oh, which has been getting it destroyed. <laughs> what do you mean? So, I didn't understand okay. it. You said okay. that. Okay. Yeah, so that changed want... something, right? Okay. I don't want to spoil it. So don't spoil it, man. I... I won't spoil it. So but first of all, like, um, this is another Star Wars universe. This right? is way in the beginning, bro. Okay. Okay. So listen, man. So I'm giving it a chance to introduce a new character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not the biggest, craziest Star Wars fan, mm. right? But I appreciate the content they bring out. There's something about them I love watching it. Man, you know it's my favorite. So first of all, all right, people are dissing it because of the obvious thing, right? Colored people, all that sort of stuff. Oh, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Put that aside. You're going to have those people. Put that aside. Right? Then, oh, diversity and equity, just forcing it. Listen, there's new characters. Yeah. I, in my opinion, if you change Luke Skywalker into a Bengali dude, like, <laughs> like, I'm going to be like, bro, what are you doing? This is a problem, right? But that's not the case. You're building new characters. So yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Bring in new characters, no problem. All right. That's one thing that people are crying about. The first two episodes, I really enjoyed. Very good. Right? Very good. The first, the third episode is where it did get weird. And the reason why I think people kick it off now is because the Force is always known to be the Jedi Force, right? They're, oh, I'm spoiling it for you, bro. Sorry. Do, do, should I spoil it or? Just yeah, let me watch it, man. Let me watch right, it. Right, right, right. Something happened with the force, basically. I've spoiled something for you anyway. But I agree with that. I'm like, oh, that's a twist. I don't know if I like that twist because it takes it away from that Jedi whole thing, bro. So it's oh, like, oh, nice. and then you know, and then to be honest, and then, but some people could look at it from a one perspective, but from another perspective, it's like, but like, so I found it to be a bit weird, to be honest. And you know, people still cussing it because the racial, the racial. Thing. It was a bunch of um, this part's not a spoiler, but really, but it was a bunch of like coloured lesbian witches like doing some funny charts, and I was like, that's freaking. It seems very weird. I was like, that's a bit weird. It's off. But what got me was that thing I'm talking about about the force and whatnot. So this is the thing. Like this is we're at the beginning stage now. Star Wars. Yeah. This is Star Wars has always been about everybody the whole universe guys we're yeah, all as the one universe yeah you got green aliens and blue aliens and purple shit with big noses and shit and then everyone's crying about black people and black like, chinese people in a movie and i'm like that's I, I, that would never make sense i don't you. make no sense i don't yeah, know. Never like i said sense. if you change luke skywalker to a bangali brother that's a problem <laughs> he's still luke skywalker and you know the cat so that part i'll never get but it's the force thing it's right at the beginning the force seems much stronger have you noticed you know that guy who was meditating? Yeah. I can't remember his name. Yeah. She couldn't get a kick in or anything. I was like, 
Hey, never shown the strength of that force, the force like that. Do you know what's been amazing about this? The martial arts have been Ooh, sick. One point. Uh, yeah. What's his name? From Squid Games. What's his name? Yeah, I can't remember his name, man. Soy. No, his name's Soy in the show. Yeah. But he's been actually pretty good. He's like, been really awesome. good. Really good. But the martial arts kind of reminds me of like a, a whooping wool. No, yes, 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 you yes, know yes, what I mean? Yes, yes. Like, and the girl, the lady from Trinity is in it. Uh, from Trinity, Trinity, from, from, from Matrix, Matrix, Matrix uh, Carrie and Moss, yeah, whatnot. Yeah. Uh, people cry that she got killed off straight away. Spoiler alert, if you haven't seen episode one, immediately she gets killed off. But <laughs> she's in the show anyway. So <laughs> I knew she's going to be like, uh, what's it called? Um, but the martial arts sure. is brilliant, bro. Like, Star Wars, like, listen, from from the, uh, the, the, the Phantom Menace ones and whatnot, they had good saber work and whatnot. It evolved right from the original ones. Mm. Now the saber work as well as the hand to hand combat, bro. Oh, the master. martial arts is brilliant, bro. Okay. Um, listen, man, I am still enjoying it. I'm giving it a chance, basically. Mm. Like none of the diversity shit is killing me. Like it, none of that's getting to me, right? Um, but that force thing, kind of, I was like, oh, that's I don't know if I like that. So you gotta. Oh, I'll watch it and we'll, we'll talk about it on this week's episode. Yeah. yeah. But like I say, with the diversity stuff, like again. I've seen shit where I have complained about it. When mm. I'm like, you gave us shit content because you forced this. Don't force this. Make good stories, mm. and I fucking love it. Yeah, yeah, right? I think that's what it is. It's about not forcing it. It's about letting it. That we're in this world. Yeah. Things are changing constantly. So, you know, give it to us nice and easy, man. That's the, the way I see it, anyway. But uh, what else, bro? Well, I could have. <laughs> <laughs> no, I could have. I'm just gonna. Sorry. Good games. I just wanted to get that guy's name. I was trying to get his name from Acolytes. I can't even spell Acolytes. Uh, but his name is... Um... Why is he not the first dude? There we there go. go. Lee Jang... Lee Jang Jay. Lee Jang Jay. Oh. Lee Jang Jay. Yeah, Lee Jang Jay. Yeah. Cool. Um. Anyway, the other movie I, I quickly watched was Hitman on... Um... Netflix? Netflix. I haven't seen Actually, it. It's, it's, yeah, good. it's actually really good. Yeah, it's really good. It's got... Um... Glenn Powell. Yeah, Glenn yeah, yeah. Powell. Um... Adriana, draw. Yeah, I'm going to name names. names, look, man. names. Fifty-one ep- We got fifty-one views on the last episode. Oh, that was oh. probably one of the worst episodes. I'm telling you, I was like worst episodes. Uh, fifty-one. We said all the names. Seven. Right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I'm bringing that date just because we started talking about Free Palestine until then, and we got Shadow Band or whatnot. So our views went down, but this one went up, and with I, I we, can't fucking him, we, pronounce them. I had I was looking after the kids and it was horrible, horrible. Uh, I was forgetting stuff. But anyway, listen, people probably hit man, that check it out. I've heard some really good. good it, it, it's good. It's good. It's good. It's fun. It's fun. Yeah, it's a fun movie. It's easy to watch, and the concept of it is actually pretty cool as well. Yeah. Uh, I check it out. Um. All right. That's all I watched. <laughs> Nothing else that you saw. All right. So what did I see? What did I see? Uh, bad boys. Bad boys four. Bro, I can't remember. I haven't seen it. Actually, all right. So what I have been watching is the new Quantum Leap show. Oh, yeah. I'm halfway through the first season. I watched episode one and I stopped. What are you, what are you doing? All right, listen. I'm going to give you my negatives now. Yeah? Not having the famous theme song really throws you off. Because mm. that, that would have drawn back all the old fans. Mm. 100%. Yeah? And that's a creative decision. Brave creative decision that the, the ABC network or NBC network took to do that. But I felt like it would have brought back some old, 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 old. But listen, bro, it's actually pretty good. After I went through the first episode, which I was like still umming and ahhing about, it was really rushed. They didn't explain why they, like why this technology was resurrected again and what was the connection to Sam. They, they, they mentioned him. Mm. But bro, it gets deep. It does, yeah. It gets deep, bro. And I was like, okay, I still hate the fact that it's not the quantum leap, quantum leap theme song I want. But listen, the characters in it are really good. Ernie Hudson's character, who starts Quantum Leap again, used to work in the army. And there's an episode where Sam Beckett goes into a, a Vietnam, a, a soldier from the states who is in Vietnam War. Oh, they linked it. Yes, bro. Oh. And so he was like, I was missing for a couple of days. And I could see Sam Beckett's face in the mirror. Yeah. And he was the one who saved my life and the platoon's life. Oh. And then left. And this was, uh, Ernie Hudson was in an episode in the original? Not in the, he wasn't in the original. Oh. He was, they were playing a younger self. Okay. He's not playing the older one. Oh, sick. So he resurrected uh, Quantum Leap again because he, 
he found out that Sam never made it home. Oh, that's sick. Oh, bro, it was deep, bro. That's that's and sick. they were like, now this guy's leaked. But that episode, the one the World War II, the Vietnam one, happened in the real original shows. Yes. Oh, that's deep. So they've linked it. That's deep. They that's have deep. linked that's it. Deep. They talk about Sam all the time. Ooh. I'm hoping to see Sam pop up because they talk about the technology. They talk about how Al's daughter's involved, bro. And, and there's... Oh, bro, it's... Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm sold now, man. I should have given it more chance. See, this is why I should never just watch one episode. You yeah, 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 bro. Listen, judge it. I'm scared because there's only two seasons and I, and I think it's been cancelled, but I don't... I'm so, I'm so scared because I don't, I'm not even looking at Google to find out, has this been cancelled? Mm. Is it? Are they going to continue it? Because it's like good 18 episodes a season. Like, I'm watching a couple of hours here and there. I'm I'm invested, bro, and I love the technology. I'm, I I love time travel. I love what they're doing with time travel in this. Uh, originally, and this is it's not really a spoiler. Okay. Time travel in Quantum Leap was between the birth of Sam and his death, but because we don't know where he is, he doesn't really die. He's hopping around still. Remember, yeah, that last episode said that I don't think you'll ever you'll, you'll, you'll never yeah. make it home. I hated that episode. To end the season like that was probably the worst thing to do. I feel like Quantum Leap now is trying to rectify that. Mm. But he's gone further back in time. Oh. It's, it's not in his lifetime. Yeah. Was Sam in his lifetime? Sam wasn't in his lifetime. Oh, no, he was within his lifetime. Within his lifetime. And the ba- from a baby to... Oh, I don't see. So he will loop around there. I didn't even... But where that. now, he could go back even further. Yeah. Or what they're trying to do is go Future. further. Future, yeah. Oh damn, damn. But, but, but if he goes, if he goes in the future, the Sam kind of corrected things in the past. But if he goes in the future, where he's going to start? I don't think I don't know how that's going to work because he's already gone back to the past even further. Not in his lifetime. The first time they've gone back to like the eighteen late eighteen hundreds. Oh damn! In like the West, and they were like, "Oh my god, that's the biggest leap backwards ever." But. He's still fixing issues. He's learning as a character himself. Because the one thing we learned from Sam was that he learned more about himself and became this brave soldier in time, fixing what went wrong to write. Uh, Some of them fictional characters, some of them real characters. Uh, I'm sucked in, bro. Uh, You know what, bro? You sold it to me, man. The only Hudson's character is that I want to be a... He saved my life. Yeah, he said he's been saving countless lives. I I want to know if we can bring him home. That's sick. Yeah, and I I love that concept, and I gave it a couple of episodes, and now I'm watching it. I'm really enjoying it. Bro. You know what? When I get back, yeah. I'm gonna get on it. I'm but get on intro, it. come on, NBC. If one of you got NBC or ABC or whatever, if you guys are watching this, please give give us the give us the tune, man. That's what I want. That, you know. Da, 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 da. I love that tune, bro. Yeah. That's the tune. I think that would have brought in a lot more old fans. Cause you know what? A lot of people did message me saying, Are you watching Quantum League? And yeah. I'm like, no, because like it just didn't give me that vibe. Yeah. But giving it a chance, and that's the problem. I think giving it a chance. Like me yeah. and Game of Thrones. Yeah. I got up to three seasons and was like, nah, this is not it. Bro, there are some people, man, they'll start beef with me because they're like, what? What oh, are you yeah. chatting about? Well, it got me, but that's 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 interesting because after three seasons, I was in. Yeah, no. So, I'm saying, so it took me three seasons. But I think I think I get what you're saying because if you're calling it Quantum Leap, then you're going to have, not comparison, but you're going to need something to be like, get me in. right? And yeah. that theme tune is perfect to get me in. Exactly. If you call it something brand new, then you can have whatever theme tune you want. And I think X-Men 97 is a true testament. Yes, that, yeah. Because... They didn't change anything. They no wait, sorry. They changed quite a lot of things in the X Men, the cartoon itself, and how they structure the stories because they have to do a shorter amount. Mm. But they kept the tune. They kept the tune. Which will bring us back. Yeah. yeah. So Quantum Leap, man. Quantum Leap. You guys Leap. get the chance. I'm on it. If you're a fan of the original, uh, I've always been obsessed with time travel. Back to the Future is my favorite all-time movie of all time. Uh, uh, did you hear what I said? Then all time of all time. Yeah. All time of all time. You're going back in time. Uh, but yeah, listen, yeah, so that I've been watching that, and then what I've uh, you funny you say that I finished off Donnie Darko, and that's all about time travel as well. Yeah, yeah I yeah. forgot, but I, again, I forgot about that movie, and I forgot that the movie he, he made a big to, decision at then. He exactly, he had to die, he saw the future basically, yeah. right? So he had to die to avoid all of that stuff happening. And I was like, oh, this is the, 
deep. It's deep. Very deep. All about time travel. Great movie. <laughs> uh, I think that's it, bro. There's that's nothing it? else. I haven't seen anything else. Uh, what else was there? I feel like, was there something else? No, nah, man. You watch that movie 60 Minutes? I'm going to watch it. In, in yes, years. I saw that. It's taken me three months to watch it. I'm not even going to lie because we don't have Netflix at home. I've been watching it. My brother's one here, Ash. And he just said today, bro, it's swear taking me three months to watch a film that's only an hour and a half. For real, I just haven't had the chance, but it's a good movie, good action film. Uh, it's a German based film. MMA fighter gets in trouble, wants to be with his daughter. He has 60 minutes to get there before he loses his daughter. It's on her birthday. Goes through some next shit fighting people across the, across uh, Germany. Uh, across Germany. Uh, I not what? across Germany, but a city. A city. Yeah, yeah. A certain city. Uh, it was really good. And even though I've seen like five minutes here, ten minutes there, I do need to give that movie more credit because I feel like some of the fighting scenes were really good. Uh, what else did I watch recently? I mean, nah, that's it, man. Not, not right. much. I've been reading. I'm going to check out that movie. Yeah. I'm going to check out that movie. All right, cool. Um, what, you just said you've been... Oh, I'm, I'm joking, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. That I'm joking. Face, man. So I'm being <laughs> teed on that, man. I'm joking, I'm joking. But let's do it. Have you been reading anything? Uh, the 100, year or 100 Years of Palestine. Mm. Is that, I think I've said that title completely wrong. I'm so sorry. Uh, but just learning a bit more about this madness and... Uh, I'm halfway through it, and it's interesting. The more I read, the the more I find out. My the more my heart breaks. Yeah, it's this one. Hundred uh, years of Palestine. Yeah, hundred years. Listen to this one. I've got war it. on. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hundred years war on Palestine. Uh, yeah, the more you read it, the more heartbreaking it is. And the problem is, we this don't one... come from like a colonial uh, reality. Yeah. Is this one Eli um Eli Puppet? Yeah, yeah, that's the one. No, no, that's she. This one's Rashid uh, Khalida. Khalidi, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, been reading that. I, I just, yeah, I, I listened to that audible. Um, yeah, so, I'm going through that as well. That's about it, man. That's yeah, on my I finished oh. listening to Operation Paperclip. Man, history, mm. guys, history. Don't let, don't let history disappear, man. You, you, we, we, we got to listen to what our countries have been up to because it's messed up. Um, anyway. Cool. Well, in that case, let's move on to the news. Uh, and as always, we'll start off with some MCU news, go into some DCU news, because I got some this week, and then we'll go to other movie news. So starting off with MCU news, Blade. Blade loses his director, Jan Dama Damange. Mm -hmm. So it's another director. They shouldn't let that go now. I think leave it alone. Well, I read something that um, um, uh, Mahersha Ali's lawyer <laughs> had been saying that this movie was announced or and he was announced back in 2019 mm. and nothing's been done and he goes this is like one of the craziest things he's ever seen and we don't know what's going on we don't know why they're losing the directors we don't know if there's a creative dis dis uh, dispute we don't know if i don't know the actors are being uh problems we don't know if it's disney if it's, mm. if it's we have no idea but this movie's lost another director now what happens when it comes out now because i'm hearing all these rumors saying that this ain't going to be no comedy. This is going to be straight darkness and, and violent and whatnot, which is cool, which is cool. Does I don't want it to be a comedy. But what is going on with this movie? It's very anticipated. Uh, you've got Mahersha Ali. Like, I want to know what's happening, you know? Um, so, yeah, they lost the director again. So we'll see what happens. I think, did they say they got a new director? I can't remember. Uh, I think there's a new writer on there. A new writer, they lost yeah. a lot of writers, but enough director. But, yeah, I've come to a point now where leave it alone. It's the problem with the the way everything works now because we're hand fed everything and we're given everything straight away that you kind of lose the taste for something after because when you're saying you're going to give me two Avengers movies simultaneously every like you know every year you come to a point where you're like mm. it's nice that they can slow down but it's I like the slowdown yeah. I like the slowdown I tell you what I I at first I thought I was going to miss it but I think what they've done they've kind of like turn people away from it a little bit because that's obviously yeah, yeah. and whatnot so now given that anticipation is great but yeah I'm, I'm look i want blade man i, I just know what's happening um i wish i i don't know i, I wish i want to know more because you know i see these things and we give the news and we're like you know we geek out about the shit so i'd love to learn more about what's happening in the back end now why mm. is it because like i said is it creative differences is it someone's causing a ruckus or what and someone trying to change shit yeah yeah anyway that's the news on blade that's the update on blade 
Uh, moving on to DCU news, Blue Beetle series in the work, acting as a sequel. Animation. Is it animation? Yeah, it's an animation. Oh, so it's acting as a sequel, though? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, look, Blue, Blue, I, I, the Blue Beetle movie was a bad. Yeah, it good. was fine, yeah. yeah fine. So, obviously, it got slated. And, well, it didn't make the money, should I say. Um, and that's a shame. But maybe a series will be good, and maybe it will bring in more audience and hopefully build it up for the future. We'll see. I think that's, yeah, it'd be, it'd be good, definitely. Uh, I love I love what Sholo did in the in the in in the, in the movie adaptation. It was really good. So animation of it and still his voice. Go for it, man. I'm all for that. That's it. All right. <laughs> well, look, moving on to other movie news and just finishing off. Alice in Borderland season three coming soon, and I think it's like September or something. Okay. But I don't know if you watched it, but we, me, Kib, me, my wife Ash, and we we all watched it. Atia Shubik, but wicked show wicked yeah. show i'm just and spoiler alerts guys spoilers for you because you ain't seen it but you're not going to watch it. it it's interesting how they're coming out with season three because they ended season two to be like done so basically bro they were in this wonderland right mm. what we found out was a, a nuclear bomb went off in in, in tokyo and oh. all these people were in a coma so all these people that was in this wonderland they were all in a coma but they were all kind of synced in this place uh together um, and then as people were dying in the show, it was kind of like a game of survival within the Wonderland, but it was kind of really a game of survival in real life. Oh. Um, and as people were dying in this Wonderland, it's basically them, them dying in the coma. So anyway, they finished it kind of exposing that, showing that they were all in a coma, people met up in real life and all, all this sort of stuff. Um, oh. So I was like, oh, how are you going to bring a season three then? Like, because you think... The, the, the whole show makes you think that there's mad organization that's controlling everything or whatnot. So you're like, who is this? You find out. It was all in their dreams. It was all in their That's life. like what they did with Lost. Is that how Lost was? Yeah, Lost, man. I had no idea that was like that. So, but so they were all in the they coma. They were dead already. They were just dreaming or some shit. Okay, so this was like, yeah, they were in coma and they were linked. They were linked in their coma. All thing. right, okay, cool. Interesting. Um, all right, so, but, but the show's wicked, so I can't wait for it to be okay. honest with you. Uh, the boys will end at season five, which cool. is a good thing. I haven't even really to watch season episode one. We need to start watching episode four, man. I can't wait. Yes, uh, but good. obviously we can't yeah. watch it with the kids around. But we will watch that and give you our thoughts on that. I'm pretty sure it's awesome. I have no doubts because yeah, yeah, so yeah, cool. And then lastly, I heard rumors, and I don't know if I want this to be true or not, but maybe I don't want it to be. Space Balls Two, mm. and we need to keep those as a retro movie reviews, but. Because last week I was like, mok, 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 and maybe my the algorithm, maybe my phone heard me and the algorithms came up and gave me a rumor. But Space Force, Space Force 2. Nah, leave it, man. Leave mm. it. That's an amazing film. I don't care. Well, wicked. They film. don't need a number two. It doesn't yeah. need a It's a cult classic. That's a number one. Done. <laughs> leave it. Leave it alone. All right. Guys, that was all the news I had this week. Was there anything else? No, that was it, bro. All right. Well, let's, let's finish off with this week's retro movie, movie review. And it's a great one. It's Fist of the North Star animated movie. Listen, man, let me find the date. Do you remember the date for it? It was 1986? Mm. Let me tell you something about this movie, bro. Um, if you ask me what's my favorite movie or TV show, I couldn't give you one. Mm. I'm like, oh, I lost some eyes up there, Dark Knight. Some other, I've got a list. I yeah, can't yeah. give you one. Now, I'm not the most hardcore anime fan before I say this, but I like anime. I love my anime. Yeah, if yeah. you ask me what's my favorite anime, number one, Fist of the North Star. 100%. Without well, this movie, and I have to, I have to, what's the date, man? Fist of the North Star, 1986, yeah, 1986, 1986, bro. It's a movie, not the, there's a TV show. There was a TV, like, oh, yeah, no, show. it's not it's the actual movie. It's the actual animated movie, but this movie is fantastic, well, wicked. And when I mean wicked, there was, I was thinking about while I was watching it, right? First of all, the voice acting yeah. was amazing. Everyone had a wicked voice. I love Second it. of all, the dialogue. Mm -hmm. bro, some of the dialogue they used is some epic shit, bro. One of them kind of stuck to me was King Raul ones always. He's just yeah, yeah, he's an it. epic emperor. I think I'm going to do some shorts on that one. Bro, yeah, I think yeah, you should. Yeah. But yeah, definitely. Remember when we, me, I, I, and again, I love memories, man. I love these movies. Brought back a memory when, when Sharif used to come over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah we yeah. had this big debate when King Raul kill, kills Ray. And we were like, no, no, he says, you smell it. That's the smell of death. And yeah, he yeah. kills it. And Sharif was like, you spelled it. That's the spell, spell of death. And we were going back and forth for watching it. Yeah, yeah, it brought yeah, back yeah. a beautiful memory. This is another one that brought back memories with our uncle who introduced us to us as kids. We shouldn't have watched it as kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but, bro, the, the, so I, I said the dialogue, the, the, the voice actors, bro, the animation. 
Remember what I told you about Spider Verse, and I told you the background was used as um, as dialogue, as used as emotion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Fist of the North Star did that. Bro. Yes, but... Fist of the North Star animation, especially with the violence, man, the pure violence of what's going on, which is horrible. Mm. Um, the the background change in colors really showed and showed like really went into like multicolors that showed really like a like the 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 powers that they had. Yeah, the yeah, violence yeah. that was going on, bro. This film was so violent, bro, that I can't even watch it as a kid. People getting chopped up. Yeah, it's yeah, after yeah. nuclear wars. It's after Mad Max, because Mad Max came out. It's like a really Mad Max thing, and I'm going to bring up Mad Max in a second, right? But had that Mad Max vibe and whatnot. But, bro, you see, like, people getting chopped up, cannibalism. Yeah, 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 yeah. They specifically show a woman with a baby, and then you get these ghouls that come out and kills everyone and eats them and whatnot. But they show the baby, and the woman die in the baby's arm. I mean, like, this is violent. Yeah, right? it was horrible. But... Yeah. You know, Ken is, and I love, I love watching these movies again. So this is my perception from it, right? Ken was the protector of the world. Yes. But Lynn, the girl, was the savior of yes. the world through Julia. And I love that. Because obviously exactly. she called out for him. She couldn't talk or that sort of stuff. And, you know, the Fist of the North Star is all about Ken. And it was actually a love story, trying to find the woman that he, he loves, like, uh, which was which was deep, but it was like what what got to me was like, oh, you know what? He uh, he is the hero, and he lost. Yeah. He, he, lost he lost the last fight, yeah, 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 yeah. but Lin came and protected him. And yeah. King Rao at the end saw that she was the savior of the world, even though Ken was the protector of the world. And it was something that Ryu Ken said to him, and he kept doing much strength. Yeah, yeah, know, yeah. King Rao was like, I'm so strong, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. and he goes, and Ryu Ken gives him says something about. Uh, strength or power is nothing without um, perception. Perception. And without perception, your power is irrelevant or something like that. Oh, bro, it's deep. It's deep. But the dialogue, the dialogue is too much, bro. It's deep. It's deep. So uh, what he saw in Lin, because he sensed Lin before, King Rao sensed Lin before. So yes, he, he did. He sensed, I think he sensed a power. But when he, when she came and saved Ken from, from King Rao killing him, I think what he saw was the perception of power. And he reached <laughs> this little girl is exactly what Ryu Ken was talking about. Yes. Which was she has this power, but she put she put it into perception where that's why she's like the savior. Bro, oh my god, this movie They need to digitally remodel that movie because every cell is a piece of artwork. Oh, it's it's all artworks yeah. and drawn. Yeah. yeah. They need to remaster this. They need to bring it out. I know I bought an American version recently on Blu-ray. Okay. When I checked it, it still looks the same as VHS. Okay, okay. So it's like, come on, man. Like, this movie deserves it. Mm. And I've seen the animations. Like, I've got the box set of the animations, what came out originally. Yeah. And then they bought out the new ones. But this movie, it really needs, it needs that loving, man. So any of you manga, old school manga fans, uh, come on, man. Let's get something together, man. Follow us on, 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 on X. We'll put a little petition together, man. Let's 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 get him to remaster that, man. Because Whoa. it is a brilliant movie, and I think what you said there was a perfect kind of layout of what each of those characters meant. And I think as we get older, because originally we just love Ken and he does the, yeah the, yeah. Ta, 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 yeah all of that shit and all the violence and the rest of it. But I think the the core of it was, you know, the world we live in that right now, bro. The yeah, world we live in right now represents it because it's power because it explains it right. A nuclear war and what happens is he said everyone was every man was scared. I can't remember the exact quote, but it was another epic one. But every man was scared. But what gave them hope was power over other men. Mm -hmm. like, you know, what gave them confidence was power. That's what it was. It's not like they were brave men or no, 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 yeah, they yeah. were scared. Everyone was yeah, scared, yeah, yeah, yeah. but they but power over other men, other people. And this was back in the eighties, so you're gonna say men and uh, uh, co conquerors and whatnot. They that was what gave them the the strength that gave them confidence. But bro, it's it's the and the, bro, no, but that's one movie. Yeah, which everybody's gonna find weird. Was you know when smartphones first came out, and I mm. up, I got my first iPhone, a two G. That yeah. was the first, their first one. If you look at my library, bro. Or your Instagram? No, no, my library, my movies, home movies. There we go. It was the first movie, Divix. You guys remember oh my Divix? Goodness, yeah. It was the first movie I popped on my phone. That's funny that you still got it there, man. And it's transferred over every single phone. It's and it's over. always been there. And it is a movie that I could be on the train or the bus and I put it on straight away. It's never come off my phone. 
yeah. every device I've had, even when it was BlackBerry days, it was on my phone because DivX, it's only a couple of hundred megs. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just, uh, that's so, awesome. it's a movie that's always there with me. Bro, like what what I love again is the expression of artwork and the animation. Yeah, like, yeah. Like Zenden when he when he yeah, yeah, up yeah. Zenden. But again, it's it's so violent. He's got the little baby girl in his hand, and he goes, "Yeah, I'll I'll let her once I break her into pieces and shove oh, it like right, your I'm like, crazy. Yeah. And then anyway, Ken Vester bosses him up, <laughs> and he becomes this big giant man. And I just love the expression of animation of like like the, the expression through uh, the powers and everything. But then then becoming huge, the fat dude becoming huge. It just kind of shows that he just overcome this big giant. It's like yeah, 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 David yeah. and Goliath yeah, moment yeah, yeah. type of thing. It was a bit like biblical. She was on a cross at the end of yeah, the yeah. But amazing. Uh, King Rao, you know, like, again, another savage. Like, brothers turning against each other, man. Like, it, it, it's just crazy. Like, Lord Jaggy. Lord Jaggy, yeah. Oh. Did I mention that? I say? No, no, we haven't said Lord Jaggy. What did, right? I, Lord what did, Jaggy. I, did I just say? King Rao. You said King Rao. Oh, right? I meant Lord yeah. Jaggy. I yeah. meant Lord Jaggy. Yeah, yeah, savage yeah. and like fiend and whatnot ray like they become well that last scene was was deep was deep man just when ray had a fight with king Rao, yeah and he's just dying he grabs ken and he gives him this emotional speech that you're you're the savior to the people you're protector to the world think about the children think about julia you know just telling ken how important he is and immediately he just turns to king Rao. Wow, the conqueror, <laughs> your time has come I'm like, but your boy just told you please don't take fight it easy, it. Take don't it easy. Fight. bro and again, the violence, man, the blood, the expression of the blood just pouring out. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. might look at it and see it's silly, but I think what they're showing, again, is an expression of the, of, of the, the, the battle that the they, battle they went through. The, 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 the power, the, for, was the force, the, the velocity, the speed. Everybody. Who says that? Who says that? The velocity, speed. What are you talking about? Alfred. That? Alfred says it too. Oh, yes. Yes, look about Spider-Man. Yeah. Oh, no, about Bane. About Bane. Bane. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All over the place. But it is, though. It speed, is. the velocity, the, look at the speed, look at them. You can't keep up with that, you lose. Yeah, oh my God. Uh, well, come from this boost. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, no, great movie. If you guys are into anime and you're from the era of Dragon Ball Z and then even with Naruto as well. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and you're over 18, because we oh, can't say to. that. Yeah, It's yeah, a must watch. Yeah. But, again, before we finish, soundtrack. Oh, it's on my phone, big, bro. I yeah, listen yeah. to it as I drive yeah, yeah, and I'm yeah, working yeah. out soundtrack. Amazing, right? Um, and then I went to say, like, the way they ended it is, oh, it's deep. He still ended up looking for Julia. Now, first yeah, of all, yeah. I was like, Julia was just there. Where, where the bitch run out to? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Was still... <laughs> <laughs> they, they finished. <laughs> they finished because Lynn came back to the scene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what, what I'm saying. Where'd you fuck you go, Julia? Julia, Julia anyway, Blair. Anyway, uh, I don't want this drama. Man. But they ended the movie with him searching for us. It's, again, it's... It, he, that's it's yeah. yeah, yeah. As heartbreaking it is, when I say he loses, I mean... He loses the battle, the fighting battle against Val, but he was protected by Lin. Yeah. But he loses because he's still looking for Julia. And that's hard. That's hard. That was the like, main part of the story, bro. Yeah. It all started up, man. The seven fingers of death. Yeah, man. Shin. His yeah, boy, yeah, Shin. Shin. Like, turning, again, this is what that world does to you. Shin and Lord Jaggy was a prick. He's the one yeah, who yeah, yeah, yeah. Shin against him. Oh, a bastard. That was his brother, man. What he, again, there was that relationship between Ken and Shin. Even though that, that happened, Ken knew, like, they still had that threat. There was something there. And Ken was like, man, you really loved Julia more than I did. Like, mm. even though he loves her to bits, like this individual Shin loved her to, to more than anything. But Shin's philosophy, you know, and again in that Mad Max world, is like whoever's the most powerful is you, you that who that's who gets the women and the jewels. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he was kind of telling Julia, you, you, you're eventually <laughs> you're like, I even yeah. I destroyed and killed your husband and whatnot, and kidnapped you. Eventually, you like me. That was his the mentality with that with that ever, but. Bro, the martial arts Hokuto Shinken. Oh, Hokuto Shinken, Japan, man. That's how I learned about it. That's yeah, 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 yeah. He's all over, it's all over the place. Hokuto Shinken. I mean, there is a martial arts. I mean, I learned some pressure point fighting. Yeah, yeah. I took it to an extreme where your head goes back. <laughs> and because of those scenes, bro, when the heads blow up, are the best. But it, bro, the, it, he's so awesome. He's like a Western as well. The way he kind of yeah, yeah, yeah. Wished. So it's like he still yeah. got that Western film, Mad Max film. I think the, the new Mad Max, well, Fury, uh, the new one, right? Fury, Fury, Fury also, yeah. Fury also. Again, I was talking about when I done the review, bro. There were scenes that were just out of this anime. I'm talking about the my, motorbike scene. Like, they yeah, dressed yeah, up yeah. in their outfits, and then you got the motorbikes, and they're all riding in some sort of formation. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dust coming off. Yeah. Uh, and you only see, like, from the distance, like, the dust of the motorbike. I'm like, bro, they could do a real-life movie. Now, if they don't, it doesn't matter. 
but this is one this is my number one favorite anime i think akira comes second for me and yeah, then yeah, next yeah. is dragon ball and then there might be some others in naruto but I, i'm not listen i'm not the biggest anime i haven't seen all of them but that's my list i could easily say my number one anime of all time is Hokuto, uh, Hokuto Shinken, there's Hokuto Fist Shinken. of the North Star, so well the movie 1986, and I enjoyed the show out. as well. The show was good, the show was good, and then the new ones they brought out after, which was really good. Yeah. So, can you imagine well, doing that to somebody? Bro, like, my finger, what, what are you doing? Why are you doing? Shut your mouth, shut your mouth. And they'd be like, bro, oh, that was mad. Yeah. But again, I, <laughs> what, I, 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 look, I'll finish because I can geek out about this movie with time, but it has to be the dialogue, it has to be uh, the 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 awareness, the epicness of King Wow. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. a brother to be proud of. I, bro, you can see it, bro. When they say those lyrics, like you should see him. He's like a brother should be that you could be proud of if he wasn't such a monster. Yeah. And yeah. when you see his, his this emperor, you're like, wow. And the way he's on his horse. And yeah, his yeah, 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 And he's so huge. And he's got this wicked helmet on, and he speaks like I say. It's not elegant speaking. It's 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 fucking epic. Yeah, dialogue, yeah it's an epic dialogue. Do you know what I'm trying to say? And like, yeah, yeah, man, you could be proud of him, but then he is a savage and he's just taking over land. But he didn't kill, he didn't see at the end of the day, man. There was a bit of redemption because he didn't see he so Lin made him understand that he didn't kill Ken and he didn't he understood the philosophy of what his master Ryu Ken was saying. And then he told Lin, if Ken wants to see me, I'm gonna be paying my respects to Ryu Ken, who he and who he killed earlier. I mean it showed a little bit of hope, but Lin was the hope. That hope, know? yeah, she was the hope. She was. The she hope. was the hope, was and the hope. even her to kind of change the most brutal and like most powerful guy on the on the planet, King Rao. It, it just goes to show, like you know, children are the hope. You know, it's not, no, exactly. in a way, definitely without a doubt, it's like a good movie. Check it out, guys, if you get the chance. Great movie, great Fist movie. of the North Star. Check it out, not guys. the Gary Daniels movie live action one. We're talking about the manga. Manga. If you guys remember Manga, 1986. Yeah. Cool, man. Well, look, I'm glad we geeked out about that movie because I've been, I was happy to watch that on the plane on the way here. It was so much fun. That's it, man. That's it for this week, man. If you got anything you want, you want to take us out? No, that's it, man. Listen, guys, massive thank you for showing love on all the social media channels and even on here as well. You guys are absolutely amazing. Guys, make sure you check it out because we are not just on YouTube. You could check it out on Spotify and. Uh, <clears throat> Amazon Music and uh, Apple of uh, Apple Podcasts, man. We're on all the podcast streaming, man. So if you can't watch us, you can listen to us. But other than that, we're always grateful for the love that you guys show, and we'll, we'll catch you on next week's episode. We Peace. Out. Peace.